to another. I'll pop over here and talk with Quiet Storm Jamie Cox. You sort of had the poker face on this afternoon when I asked you how the car was. You said, eh, it's all right. And then I asked you how you were at Sunset. You said, eh, we're okay. I would say based off of how this car looked tonight, you were a lot better than okay. The 22 car looked like a rocket ship through the last 10 laps or so. Yeah, the, the car just did not seem to fall off very bad, and that's what that's what you need is a car like that. And I was, I was just the outside was awesome. I loved running the outside. This track is so fun when you have two grooves like that. It is awesome. Now tell me a little bit about what happened last night. I know that the story ends with you going back to Dorchester and getting the backup car. What exactly sort of facilitated that decision? Well, the other car had an oil leak so bad out of the rear main and we tried to fix it and it was just something we weren't going to be able to fix so it, we made the decision to drive back and get this this old girl and uh, blow the dust off of it and bring her out. Now, Sunset, uh, I, I know that you don't get to come out here very often. Did you have a lot of notes to fall back on or was this something completely different that you threw at this car this evening? No, this was something different. This is. Towards the end of last year, I kind of hit on something and I just left it in this car. It worked at Flamborough, it works here, it, it works good, I'm not touching it. That's an excellent segue <laughs> to my next question because now we get to go to Flamborough. That's a track that you get to go to a, a little bit more often than Sunset. You've had some good runs there in the past. Are you feeling confident about what this number 22 car might be able to do in a couple of weeks time? Yeah, I think so. I think we've got a pretty good piece for that. and I. We might even be taking this car. Depends on how the other one works out, but we might take this one. Now, I, I asked Dwayne the same question. After Todd, it, it, after Todd Jones, it was, this was literally the tightest field we've ever had at Sunset across any division. A tenth and a half of a second separated first from 22nd. I mean, we, we've never had anything that tight here. How about the depth of talent that came out for the first round of this tour? Oh, it, it's unbelievable. The, the, the amount of guys with championships in this field, it's just incredible. And the names, it's... And if you can beat them, you're doing something. Well, you certainly did something right tonight with a runner-up finish. Thank the folks that make all this possible. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, APC and Canusa and Total Lubricants and uh, London City Chrysler and all our associate sponsors. And I'd like to thank all my crew guys and our wives and everybody and uh, this everybody that helps out. This it's awesome. I gotta ask after the late night trouble, after the late late evening troubles last night and the early morning through the gate here this morning, how much sleep did this team get before this uh, before this big race? Uh, I maybe got four hours if that. Well, Dick Trickle once said you only need one hour of sleep for every hundred laps you race. So you really, you overslept really. You only needed an hour, right? That's right. We'll see you at Flamborough, my friend. Congratulations.